Drive a man, he made a life, but the mammy ain't his wife. Chopping cotton, don't be slow, better finish out your row. Keep a moving with that plow, drive a man, will show you how. Get to work and root that stump, drive a man, will make you jump. Better make your hammer ring, drive a man, will start to swing. Ain't but two things on my mind. Drive a man and quit in time. about Fort Howell. Fort Howell was built in 1864. 
to protect the new Freedom Village of Mitchellville. It was built by the 32nd Colored Infantry Regiment, 500 men under the command of Colonel Baird. When you go back to the fort, you'll see the fence there where the golf course is for Palmetto Hall. That was where the 500 men bivouacked while they were building this fort. The interesting part about it is this fort, as I said, was built by the 32nd Colored Infantry Regiment. The first black group soldiers that built a Union fort. And so it's a very important fort for that purpose alone. Now, you have to look at that. There were no trees here back then. This was cotton fields. All these were cotton fields. Mitchellville was built on cotton fields. This fort was built on cotton fields. Uh, um, uh, uh, Drayton, when Colonel Drayton, or General Drayton, who commanded the two Confederate forts originally, he owned the six, six of the con cotton plantations in here. And this was what's his land that both the Mitchellville and the fort was built on. Now, it's an earthen fort. And the reason it's an earthen fort was when the, after the war started, all the forts that were built, masonry forts that were built, they were obsolete. They were built originally after the War of 1812, going down the coast, 33 of them, the last one being Fort Pulaski. Now, the reason that they didn't build any masonry forts, the advent of the rifle cannon. The rifle cannon went right through the masonry, opened up the magazines in the fort, so the masonry forts became obsolete. So it was uh, earthen fort. You pick the moat, take the dirt from the moat, build your, your uh, defense up that way, but using palmetto logs, usually you don't spin her that well to use it to reinforce it. And you had your fort. And out here, you don't put water in the moat. <laughs> You're getting alligators and mosquitoes if you do that. <laughs> so, but it was a, a way to, to, by using sharpened sticks and so forth, to keep off the walls of the fort. That's the type of fort, and that's why this fort. And this is a good example of an earthen fort. Right now, we know the trees are growing off on the walls of the fort. We want that to happen right here because it's an earthen fort. And over the years, if you don't have that, it'll all, unfortunately, go away. So that was that's one of the things. So this fort is a good example of an earthen fort. And uh, it's in pretty good condition. About two years ago, we got it on the National Register of Historic Places.
Thank mm-hmm. you.